about a week ago we were going through our bee yards and checking the queen for the last time checking on her performance we found several colonies that were pretty pretty small for this time of year and we decided to unite them with other colonies we used the newspaper method it's worked pretty good for us in the past and that's what that's the way we like to merge colonies together um, so we're out here today we're going to go through these colonies see what they're looking like check the queen one more time in those colonies we did away with some of the queens that were in there um, just got rid of them they wasn't cutting it and requeened them um, so today we're going to go through them make sure they merge together nicely and re rearrange all the frames and see, see what they're looking like we'd like to overwinter them winter our bees in single deep so we're hoping we'll get a good single deep by the time the fall flows over and and they'll they'll go through the winter well and come out in the spring with something we can work with. This is the bee yard. This is one of the colonies that we uh, did the newspaper combined with. We're getting ready to open it up and see, see how it went. Hopefully the bees merge together nicely and we can take the, these two boxes and merge them into one single deep. This colony was small. The smaller colony was on the top. So this was the smaller of the two. No grass. I started storing some some sugar syrup up in here. I don't. I don't believe that was from any of the the flow we have going on now. Still a small flow. They are bringing in pollen, and they're starting to hit this goldenrod pretty good. So I have high hopes for the fall flow, but we'll just have to wait to see how that goes. Sometimes it can be a bust. This one here is full of sugar syrup. This, this box should be plenty heavy. What we'll do is we'll go through here and just see how things are going. Then we'll merge this box in with the bottom box. Some brood, lots of eggs, larva. I'm trying to see which box the queen's in. I like to isolate her so I make sure I don't accidentally kill her. That bee there's got some goldenrod pollen on his legs there. Back filling this frame with with uh, either nectar or, or syrup. We hadn't fed them in a, about a week, so it's plenty of eggs down there in between the cells. A lot of bee bread in this frame. Still haven't seen the queen though. She may have moved the Well she was she was already in the bottom box, that's right. Well, these are looking good. Now we'll see if they eat through the newspaper and merge together. A lot of times it'll stick. Oh yeah, they, they make dirt. Small hive beetles. This is the colony that wasn't doing so great. 
This is a problem you run into with wax foundation a lot of times. We just recently switched over. We're, we're merging everything into plastic foundation. It just works better for us. They started working this frame a little bit, but I don't really want to keep that if I've got drawn out frames already in the top box. So we're going to shake these bees off. There's our brood pattern from Miss Queen. She's doing a lot better than the other one was. They're backfilling in between the cells with some pollen, a little bit of nectar, but in any open cell, she's laying eggs and there's larvae, so I'm happy with that. This colony just needed more bee power. I didn't see the queen in this box, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it one more quick look over. I like to know where she's at, especially this close to winter, so I don't accidentally smash her. You may see her on the camera when I don't. She very well could have moved up to the top. We'll check this one last frame. If we don't see, them, see her, we'll, we'll combine them together. And she could be up top. That's a nice frame of storage. It's heavy. We'll put that on the outside here, on this side. Lots of eggs in this frame.
lot of times she'll hide under these apple bar strips. Sometimes you'll get this where they hadn't drawn it out real nice, and that's okay. They'll clean it up. You just have to be super mindful of robbing. We're going to close this hive up good now. You want to make sure you have to don't touch the sides of your boxes. If it does, you need to wipe it off clean. And see, there's our queen right there on this last frame. She was hiding up against the feeders. They'll do that. You always have to be cautious and look at your lid in your frame. I don't particularly want this frame. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to catch her on a queen catcher and release her into the hive. And then I'll shake the bees off. We'll move on to the next one. I'm not sure if you can see on the other colony we united, but it took a, a small colony and made it into to one that stands a chance to make it through the winter. Now we'll still feed it and we're going to give it some pollen supplement today just to help it out. It's turning off cool. Um, not sure how long this flow is going to last, so we may be feeding for a while. Um, I want to stimulate that queen as long as I can to, to keep her laying as, as late as I can get her to lay going into the fall to, to make winter bees. Bees of winter physiology. It's very important. Uh, I like to give them pollen supplement a lot to, to add extra fat stores to them. So we're going to open this one now and see how it went. Hopefully it went as good as the other one. But you never know until you open them up. Now this one looks pretty well. Um, we'll give them a new pollen patty. Just hold that please. We'll see how, how these are looking. As you can see, we, we're switching to, to plastic foundation. It, it works a lot better. It stays straighter. It don't sag. And it, it saves a lot of headaches for us. They're starting to draw this out. There's some stores put into it. And I believe that's going to be nectar. Because we don't have any. We hadn't fed them in about a week. And I don't remember that from the last time I was in this colony. Like I say, we want to try to find the queen if we can. Here's her pattern. It's, it's better than the, it was before. Um, down in each cell, there's eggs and larvae and, and nectar in between. So it's better than what we had. There's our queen right there. So we've isolated her. We know where she's at. So I'm going to put her back.
We know she's in the top box. Lots more eggs and larvae. Good stores on the side. Not seeing a lot of pollen in this top box though. And really, there's only two frames of bees that we can use to merge with, so we're hoping the bottom's drawed out pretty good. What I like about those plastic frames, you can toss them around. You don't hurt them too much. Another thing you want to be mindful of, it is in the fall. As you can see, they've chewed through here, merged nicely. But it is in the fall, and you want to keep these inspections as short as possible to prevent robbing. We'll come back through and clean this stuff up in a minute. Few small high beetle larvae. Nothing too major. They'll do that. And when we see that, we just take it out and we give them a fresh one. I should have put her in a queen cage, but that's the safest way to do it. But a lot of times I don't do that. And I'll pay the price. Sometimes I can't find her again. There she is, still in the same general location. So I'm going to drop her right down here on the frame she's in. You want to be careful because all these frames aren't always drawn out correctly. And you want to make sure that you don't smash your queen. Especially on this side, I like to give myself plenty of room, so I'll take this frame out. I know she's on the other side. Being mindful to, to keep it as short as possible. As you can see, this gives this small colony a lot more bee power. Plenty of room for, well, almost some room for her to lay on that side. I will flip this one around, put the brood together. Being mindful when I, see, and that, that's really not gonna work that direction because it's gonna smush up onto the frame. You run into that a lot with wax foundation. They draw it out just however they want to. And it can make a real headache sometimes. I never, I've never cross-wired my, my combs. I'm sure that would help. Let's see if this is any better. I believe that'll be a little better. It's gonna be real gentle. I'll take these frames, I'll put them back in this box. It'll go home with us. She'll do that for them. Mm -hmm. And now we've got a, a decent sized colony by the end of the honey flow. They should be a full single. Or by the end of the fall flow, they should be a full single. We'll go back through here in about a week, feed them all again. We're gonna give them some pollen supplement today. But it just goes to show, it's, it's you can, there's no way I don't believe I would have got that colony through the winter alone without combining it. So I'd rather take my losses in the fall than not know what I got going through the winter. We're out here inspecting these colonies and my son happened to look up in the tree and we've got a fall swarm. Uh, it doesn't happen often on us. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, a lot of times they are queenless. Of course, that's, that's, a, that's bigger than we normally see in a fall swarm. 
So we're gonna we're gonna catch it real quick and throw it in the box and wish it the best. These the, the false horns we normally see are usually around the size of a grapefruit. This one's not much bigger than a grapefruit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop it in this nuke. We've got a deep hive over here that we've got some drone comb in. We're gonna drop them down in that, see what they do. If they do anything, we'll combine them with another small colony we've got for the winter and, and use the bee power that we can get out of them. All there is to it, you just hold them under a box when they're on a small limb like this and give them a good shake, just like so. All right, then we'll put a lid on it. We'll take that over here for them. Like I said, this is one of the boxes we already had down here. It's got a good frame of stores in it. Uh, a lot of sugar syrup in a frame. Some drone comb. We're gonna take this swarm. We're gonna shake them down in this box and dump them in. As you can see, it's not very big. That is a little bit of bee power. Hopefully we got the queen if this one does have a queen. We'll leave this box. I'll check it real quick just to see if I see anything, any queen in here. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, we'd really appreciate you hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. Thanks again for watching and have a blessed day.